Welcome back to my channel. I'm Imani and today I am performing a kid friendly sew in on my daughter. Okay, so I know I'm going to get a lot of naysayers and trolls and everybody's going to have an opinion about hmm, she may be a tad bit too young for sewing in. We are installing in extensions for a protective style to protect and grow her hair back. Her hair was cut in several places particularly this right here that you can see that this whole area was bald my daughter my baby she cut all this off she cut you all these Half of my head right here all these short areas is where she cut so you're interested in seeing a very kid friendly sew in install or if you just want to pay attention to techniques and different things like that that I'll be going over in this video feel free to stay tuned and if you like what we have going on if you can vibe with us subscribe um if you have any questions or comments feel free to converse in the comment section because we do reply and we want to connect and build relationships and friendships with all of you guys so please stay tuned we're going to get started I've, I, she shampooed and conditioned her own hair I applied heat protectant now I'm going to blow dry it and trim her ends moisturize her hair and we'll start on the braiding process what I've done is I shampooed her hair I conditioned her hair and I blow dried it and I trimmed her ends we want to make sure that we protect the hair as much as possible. To protect the hair, we, we want to make sure it's clean, moisturized, trim them ends, because if you don't trim them ends, we don't see growth, okay? I haven't actually moisturized her hair because I don't want to, I want to be able to braid it and I want it to be secure. So what I've left out is, I've left out her perimeter. Our issues, our trouble area where it was cut is like here. But I still left that out so that when she wants to pull it up, I left it out over here. The amount of hair I'm leaving out is. What? <laughs> uh -uh, uh -uh. I'm going to leave that in though. Okay, so the amount of hair that I'm leaving out is probably equivalent to the width of my thumb. So, like this much. That's how wide it is. Just enough to cover up a width. Now, we, you leave out too much hair. It's, it's going to look bad when it grows out. It's going to be more hair to manage, more breakage, etc., etc. So what I do usually is I just take the leave out and I twist it. Like I just twist it to get it out of my way. And I go all the way around the head. Now when I'm done twisting, or even now you guys can see how much we're leaving out. See? And then once I get to this side and I get it done, see I twist it, I just take these two basically and I just twist these up together. Like so. See, twist those together. Bring this down right here and clip it. So she told me that she wanted her part there. So since she wants her part there, what I've learned and what I go by is the three finger rule. Meaning I take these three fingers and I sit it down. And this is how much leave out I would have. So I take my middle finger, put it on the part like this. And I put my other two fingers down. And I'm going to part around that. So that's going to give me a guide to ensure that I have enough leave out. Okay. I just put my fingers down. But y'all, I've been doing this for six years. So I really can't eyeball it. But I'm just trying to learn how to teach y'all. So hold your head down. I 
I just really want to stress how important the foundation is, y'all. Like, it's so important. It's like the most important part of the install, if you ask me. I don't want the braids too big, nor do I want them too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block off the first braid section of where I want the very first braid. So let me show y'all how big this part is. Can you see? See that? That's probably the width of my pinky, if that, a little smaller. But that's important because around the leave out, you, I know y'all see that hump sometimes. You don't want that to have that hump where your part is. You want it to lay flat and natural as if it's real. your your real hair. So I'm going to uh, part off where I, when I'm braiding. And I'm going to go off. I usually use a rat tail comb, y'all. It's easier with a rat tail comb, but oh well. So I'm gonna part off what I want. When it comes to using connect line braiding hair for your foundation, it's, it's, it's really personal preference. Me, personally, I use it if I need it. I.e., if you have thinning edges or if your hair is really fine, I'll use it to, to add security but for my baby hair I'm not using it so let's start braiding if I braid her hair so tight to where it hurts her once I sew in over that it's gonna be too much it's gonna be too painful it's gonna cause tension which cause breakage which we don't want that okay try not to make your braids too tight but make them secure okay <laughs> I'm just following my perimeter. I'm following my parting, actually, is what I meant to say. Yeah. And if you can look at the size of my braid, you see the size of that braid? That's perfect. It's not too small where it'll pull off and break, but it's not too big to where it will create bulk. What is bulk? <laughs> to go to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing that I just did which was take my comb and make my first part See, I have this braid right here, and I have I ended my other braid right here. See that? So when I'm braiding this down, I'm gonna connect this and then keep going. what I'm talking about connecting is as you can see I'm braiding right here and now I'm down to the other end to the one that I my first braid which is right here and I'm just gonna connect it in my braid pull it up and pull it in and connect it and keep braiding see how that did it caught it So what I'm going to do is, okay, 
again, this is my very last braid that's going to be just going to close off the sew in. So I'm going to make another part. And with this one, I'm going to take this, part it off like that, and then I'm just going to leave that right there, okay? So I'm going to leave that right there, and then I'm going to go ahead and part it down right here. This braid right here that I'm working on is going to be the braid that starts my right side beehive, okay? Braid patterns also depend on what you're working with. Like, it depends. Do they have all their edges? Is there, is it, do they have any breakage or is it thin? Like, what, what kind of style is desired? Like, you have to, you have to be able to distinguish what type of braid pattern will go with what it is that you're working with. beehive y'all and then you right here where you at we're about to take this and bring it down right here make sure that you're picking up hair what you don't want to do is have this you see how that hair is right there where you have that space you want to make sure that you take your braid to here as much as possible and grip the hair where it's braided and if we don't have that access hair because that will cause tension that will pull and that will break and we don't want that what i'm going to do is i'm going to braid it Turn your head to the wall like that. You see how I'm braiding it, and then I'm gonna catch the hair to try to prevent that as much as possible. See it? Go up closer. See? That's what I'm talking about. Try to have as least bit of that little part out as possible. Again, I'm going around trying to make sure that I don't leave too much of that excess right there. Try to pick up as much hair into the braid. So this is what I have. And then I just peek in. Just gonna cut off the braid and then <laughs> how I wanted it to end going downward so that I could just sew this down and connect it and I don't have to have any additional humps or bumps right here so that's what I'm doing
this is what we have. We have one side done. Got both sides done. And what I was saying, how, see how we have these, hold your head up. We have these loops, two from each side, and then we also have these. So what I do is basically just sew these down. See, I can sew that one like that, that one this, and then. Okay, so real quick, let's talk thread that I'm using and needle. The thread that I use is this. It looks like this. It's really thin. It's nylon thread. I purchased it from Sally. Um, it comes really wide, y'all. This lasts forever curve needle right here i also purchased my needles from sally's i know that you can purchase needles from your local beauty supply but the reason that i purchased my needles from sally's is because the point is a little more sharp than the average needles and the way that i thread my needle is i take the end of the thread i ain't lying y'all i'm not lying i lick it <laughs> and you stick the thread through the little hole I make my, it's for me, I like to deal with long thread because I don't want to have to re-thread. And I, the way that I measure mine is I just double it and I just pull it until I have my arms out like this. So see what I have? This is what I have. So once I do that, I'm going to cut the end like such. And I'm going to take the end of the thread right here and I'm going to form a knot. I'm going to form it. See that? That's the knot. Now, if y'all go on YouTube, I'm going to stick this right here so I don't lose it. But if y'all go on YouTube, there's a way that, I don't know, them girls be taking this thread with their hand and they be twisting it into a knot. I can't figure it out. I try. Mm -mm. So, I have my knot here as you can see. Now, I'm going to Double that. And this is how I have two knots. See? See how thick that is? That's going to hold onto the weft because you know that when you start putting it in, when you start with the weft, you, you stick the needle through the actual web the very first time and then you go over you go over the web so we got that down let's, whew, it's long i can open my arms as wide as they go and that's how long that's how long of thread that i use so that i can keep working so i can keep working and i keep looking at this viewfinder i really just need to cover it so I can, that viewfinder i keep looking at myself and i need to be looking at you girl i need to be looking at your face girl okay so i have my needle thread what i'm about to do is go in thread the other 10 needles and 11 needles will get me through a full install without having to stop so let me go and thread the rest of my needles and i